So Tony and myself we were thinking our next video must be something special. We need a topic where we can make the world a better place, where we can change something, where we can actually really have an impact on something. And we came up with absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's why this video is about... It's about input lag, boss. And show. And again, I'm very, very sorry for my voice, but I'm still struggling with my cold. Anyway, what we're talking today is input lag, input lock, input lock, <laughs> input lag, not from controller. We're really just talking about the input lag from the LG or from a TV. In my case, of course, the LG ZX. So I'm taking my LG ZX as an example. So just keep in mind, if you have a different TV like a Sony or Panasonic, they are complete different values, okay? Anyway. <coughs> I'm so sorry, really. This is really hard. Damn it. Maybe I should just stop and do something else. Painting. I don't know. Painting is not uh, modern. Anyway, so back to the topic. It's really hard for talk to talk. <laughs> anyway, I really like to do this video. Input like TV. So, we're talking about how long does it take when you press, let's say, a button. How long does it take that you can see this action on the, on the TV? And we're really just talking about when... Uh, the, the, the signal is displayed on the TV. Let's, uh, how should I uh, say this? A joystick also have an input lag, okay? So when you press the button, it takes some time to get to the console, okay? So in the Bluetooth, maybe, I don't know, I'm just making uh, things up, let's say 10 milliseconds, okay? Really just making, making numbers up because I have no idea. Okay, we're not talking about this 10 milliseconds. We're really just ta uh, talking about the time when you press the button, and the console, console is um, showing the, the signal or is um, sending the signal to the TV. How long does the TV takes to process this signal and show you the picture on the screen? That's what we're talking about today because there is a very big difference in terms of the LG ZX uh, between 60 Hertz and 120 Hertz. And I'm also very sure you already mentioned or noticed of this that's this video is not script okay that's why just shut up what oh anyway um this video is not script that's why i'm talking so much nonsense but i think we should have a little bit of a you know small talk as well and not just the poor information you know what i mean anyway input lag lg zx so big difference between 60 and 120 hertz why um because of how many times uh, the picture uh, is refreshed on the screen, okay? Um, that's why I think uh, when we look at the numbers or really just poorly on the numbers and I'm uh, quoting artings.com here on this and I would um, really recommend to have a look on this site because the, those guys here, they're doing a great job, absolutely great job. I really appreciate their work and um, this is always the time or always when a new TV comes out, I'm checking the website for news. Really, really great. And let's have a look on the numbers. So we're talking about, first, let's start with 4K 60 Hertz, okay? Input lag from the LG ZX is 13.6 milliseconds according to our things, okay? In 4K 120 Hertz, 6.7 milliseconds. So you can see it's around the half. I really have no idea if I will survive this video, but anyway, we will continue. Um, so we learned 4K 60, 4K 120 Hertz is uh, half of the input lag. And so now the question is, of course, can you feel seven milliseconds? And uh, I have to say it's very hard, but I think in some games, I really can feel the more direct input, okay? That the game is reacting um, yeah, quicker. Um, not in all games, of course. It depends really on the game. If you have a very, yeah, how should I say, slow game, like, uh, I don't know, maybe just a simulation or whatever, it's not that noticeable. But if you play a, a fast racer or a quick, a very fast jump and run game, then actually it's really, really noticeable, uh, in my opinion, okay? So keep that in mind, okay? So whenever you can, run this LG CX in 120 hertz because uh, for the consoles uh, as long there's no VRR and this is very important as long there's no VRR activated 
uh, we have a very, very low input lag. 4K 120 hertz is the best for this TV, okay? And now we're talking about VRR. Um, unfortunately, as soon you activate VRR in 4K 120 hertz, or yeah, actually they're just mentioning 4K with VRR, then you fall back to the input lag of 14 milliseconds, which again is still not bad, but of course is twice twice as much okay it's it's noticeable in couple of games okay and if you when you are a very hardcore gamer of course you will really really notice uh, it not just not, not like me okay i'm just a casual gamer but anyway um why this is of course we are the tv has more to do uh, in the background to uh, yeah um yeah to maintain uh, the VRR and the refresh rate with the frames and whatsoever, it's clear that we have a higher input input lag in my opinion. Um, but again, 40 milliseconds is not too bad. But when we're talking now about 1440p with VRR, we have an input lag just from 6.2 milliseconds. This is even better than 1440p with fixed 120 hertz. Okay, so 120 hertz fixed in 1440p, 7 milliseconds, 6.9. And 1440p with VRR, 6.2 milliseconds. And I have to say, wow, this is great. For a TV, 6.2 milliseconds, this is great. I'm not even sure if there's a TV out there at the moment which is faster. I'm not sure, not sure about the new C1, not about the uh, new Panasonic, Sony's whatsoever. But at the moment, I would actually say 6.2 milliseconds in TVs is perfect. So unfortunately, I don't have any numbers about 1440p VRR and HDR activated. But if I'm reading this uh, correct from Arting, so we have 4K in 60 Hertz, 13.6 uh, milliseconds. And when we activate actually 10 bit HDR, it's 13.5 milliseconds. So it looks like, it looks to me that there is no input lag or no raise into the, in, terms of the input lag when you activate HDR or even uh, 444, Chroma 444. So it looks like the input lag stays the same, which is a great, it's, a, it's really great. Um, because most of the games of course are in HDR, so uh, you don't want to miss this out, okay, the opportunity. But again, I think the really summary for this video is, as often you can, change your Xbox, your PC into the 120 Hertz mode, okay? Even, and it really doesn't matter, even there's a 30 FPS game, it doesn't matter. As long the TV is running in 120 Hertz, you have the lower input lag. It's not related to the frame rate at all, not at all. Uh, because it's really just up to the Hertz on the TV, okay? Of course, the lower the frame rate, the uh, yeah, lower the reaction uh, on the screen is as well, but this is uh, yeah, a different story. Um, it is really about Hertz and a refresh rate from the screen. And in this terms, 120 Hertz on the LG ZX yeah, gives you the best experience in terms of input lag. So let's have a very quick look on the Sony X900 Hatch. I think X900 Hatch is the right... X900 Hatch, yes, correct. Input lag, in terms of the input lag. So unfortunately, the Sony does not support VRR at the moment. Uh, not sure if this can patch via, uh, via firmware update, not sure, but input lag, in terms of input lag, we're talking about a 4K 120 Hertz, 6.7 milliseconds, which is also a very, very great result. A very, very great result and very close to the uh, CX. And to be honest, 6.2, 6.5, 6.7, it doesn't matter. Seven milliseconds input lag in 120 Hertz is great. Um, what is not at uh, very great is uh, 4K 60 15 milliseconds, which is slightly higher than on the CX. And I would say the closer you come to 20 milliseconds, then it's really, really bad. 20 milliseconds is already very bad. I played on my, my very old LC's uh, TV had 19.8 milliseconds, I think. And the difference between this one and this one is really, a, it's, it's day and night, absolutely day and night. But you can see even the Sony X900 Hatch has a very low input lag. Unfortunately, no VRR. I don't understand why, because it's Sony and PlayStation. Ah, that's the reason. Huh? They're working perfectly together. No, just kidding, really. Um, we hope, of course, that VRR will be enabled on the PlayStation 5 and on the Sony TVs 
in the future, but right now, unfortunately not, not on this TV, not sure about the other models. But again, that's the same story. Put your console or your PC into 120 hertz mode whenever you can, okay? So we're not talking about the other issues what uh, we can have with uh, 120 hertz VR, like the um, uh, black level rays on the LG Z X, which is a very bad thing, of course. Uh, that's a different story, but in terms of input lag, and this is the video about today, 120 hertz is the way to go. And it's not just on the LG Z X, it's on the Sony, and I'm very sure on the Panasonic as well if there is actually a support for 120 hertz. Okay, and it looks like Panasonic is not supporting 120 hertz. Not because the pa panel can't do it, because the panels are from LG as well. Uh, it's about the electronic, okay? So I haven't had uh, the chance to look into all the Panasonic uh, models. So if I'm wrong, just put it in the comments, because uh, I like to know that uh, the model then, of course, and I like to do a little bit of research, because maybe I will replace this TV with a new one. You never know, it's already almost a year old, come on. It's... No, I'm just kidding, but maybe, of course, uh, because I like to extend my uh, content, of course, and I'm maybe I'm planning to replace this one with the C1 or G1, I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, the more information I have on newer TVs, the better. Um, but conclusion or summary for this video, of course, is whenever you can, when you're using a TV with 120 hertz mode, then in most of the cases it is uh, when you're using 120 hertz, you have a lower input lag as well. That's uh, just how the panels or how the electronic is working in the TV, okay? Higher refresh rate uh, means lower input lag, okay? Again, it doesn't mean that you have to, have to run your game at 120 hertz. You can also run uh, uh, or play a game in 30 or 60 FPS. It will also provide you the higher input lag, okay? But of course, uh, it's a little bit of a disadvantage, of course. Uh, the higher refresh rate, you should actually use it, okay? Because 120 hertz over 60 hertz uh, or frames is such a big deal, such a big uh, difference. Anyway, um, I think that's, that's enough for this video because I'm feeling my voice is getting somewhere and I'm dying here, I need, a, I need a tea, I need something hot. Anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. Uh, I, I didn't script it at all, I just uh, yeah, talked whatever I, comes in my mind, that's why some words are completely wrong probably. So and if you find some um, grammar mistakes or pro pronunciation mistakes, just keep it please, okay, that's no worries. Um, but I would also appreciate, and I'm very serious, if I'm repeating one and the same mistake all the time in English, of course, you know, some because someone uh, uh, told me uh, I'm always using uh, things like uh, or something like this. Something like this is wrong. Something like that is right. That's what I learned. So if I'm if you have something and you like to bring this up, I would much appreciate it because I like to improve my English. And just the other day I watched my very old videos from the very beginning and I found I was very, very, I was so bad. Not because of the English language, but because of my whole body, um, uh, body, how you call this? Body language, body language. I was very, uh, you know, like, oh my God, I'm talking to someone. But this is gone, thanks God. Um, and I'm much better now. But anyway, I would much appreciate, this is way too long this video. Anyway, thank you very much for watching me. <laughs> i see you next time, bye.